This video is brought to you by MediaTek, the world's largest chip manufacturer. When you hear the word Amazon, many things might come to mind. Perhaps the rainforest in South America, but most likely you're thinking of the online store where you can buy almost everything, from books to face masks to Halloween costumes. Techies will also know that Amazon makes gadgets, from the popular Kindle to the Echo and Echo Show, all of which were featured on this channel. But did you know that Amazon makes TVs too? Yep, and I'm not talking about the Fire TV Stick streaming device, but an actual TV. Late last year, they unveiled the Amazon Fire TV line, starting at $260 for their 43-inch 4 Series model, and going all the way up to $900 for their top-of-the-line 75-inch Omni 4K. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, and if you're in the market for a new Amazon TV, I'm here to help you find the right one that matches your needs. If you're watching this going, hasn't Amazon had TVs for a while now? I completely understand the confusion. Manufacturers like Insignia and Toshiba sell TVs powered by Amazon's Fire TV OS. And Amazon also sells this device called a Fire TV Stick. But now, for the first time ever, there's an actual Amazon TV, and there's a lot to love about it. So in this video, I'm going to highlight some of my favorite features and help you pick one out for yourself. Apart from smartphones, you can find MediaTek inside a wide variety of smart home products like the Peloton bike or Amazon products like the Kindle or the Echo Show 15, both of which I've reviewed recently. And chances are you might already own a MediaTek powered device and might not even know it. Of course, MediaTek also powers TVs. In fact, they're the number one provider of smart TV chips in the market today, which is why it's no surprise that they also power the Amazon Fire TV. Not only do these chips enable superb picture quality and crisp sound, they also feature connectivity chipsets, optimized for smoother streaming and gaming. But this is just the beginning. This year, MediaTek's Pentonic series of TV chips are rolling out, including the Pentonic 2000, which is the world's first 7 nanometer 8K digital TV system on a chip. Basically, it will power TVs of the future, with features like 8K 120Hz displays and support for the new H.266 codec. For more information, visit poweredbymediatek.com. All right, when buying an Amazon TV, make sure to take note. There are two models, the 4 Series and the Omni Series. Here's what's different. The 4 Series is only available in 43, 50, and 55 inch sizes. The Omni Series is also available in larger 65 and 75 inch models. Both TVs share the same display tech, 4K panels with HDR10 and Dolby Picture Plus, but on the larger Omni models, you also get Dolby Vision. But the biggest difference of the Omni series is that they've got built-in microphones. Now this enables two things. First, when paired with a compatible webcam, you can use those same microphones to make Zoom calls. More on that on its own section later. Second, you can go completely remote free and just use Alexa for things like turning on your device, Alexa, turn on the TV. Okay. To playing content from supported apps and services. Alexa, play Euphoria on HBO Max. Getting Euphoria from HBO Max. This is not to say the 4 Series doesn't come with Alexa. You'll just need to manually press this blue button on your remote. Speaking of remote, I love how there are dedicated shortcut buttons, not just for Amazon Prime Video, but also Disney+, Netflix, and Hulu. Of course, if you're worried about privacy, there's a switch over here on the bottom of the device that lets you turn the microphone off. You'll see this notification also pop up on your screen. Even with those extra features, the Omni series is only just a little bit more expensive than the 4 series. It's incremental depending on the screen size, ranging from 25 to 40 bucks extra. I personally love the convenience of turning a TV on and off with my voice, so for that feature alone, I think it's worth it, 
But if you don't plan on using voice commands or making Zoom calls with your TV, then you might also just want to save yourself some money, unless you're going for those bigger models. Regardless of what model you choose, you get the same selection of ports. Here's a breakdown. There are three HDMI 2.0 ports. There's one HDMI 2.1 eARC port for those who need to connect a console or a soundbar. And if you have an Ethernet connection nearby, I highly recommend that you plug in your TV to get uninterrupted streaming. There's a port for that here too. And finally, apart from the usual complement of antenna slash cable and optical audio and headphone jack ports, there's a USB-A port for plugging in accessories like a Google Chromecast or a Logitech web camera. Because I don't get to see my family a lot, I host a lot of virtual get-togethers on Zoom. And the Amazon Omni TV is perfect for this, so that I can join these hangouts from the comfort of my living room. This only works on the Omni series and requires a compatible web camera to work. Amazon recommends three, all from Logitech, the 310, 920X, and 922X. But I have the Logitech Brio 4K webcam and it works perfectly. Just mount it like so and plug it into the USB port. Then you'll need to find the Zoom app. Just say, Alexa, find Zoom. Download and install the app, sign in and use it like you would a computer. The camera also enables other Amazon communication features. Like you would on an Echo Show, you can call your TV or use it like a security cam and drop in when you're not at home. So why get an Amazon TV? Apart from competitive pricing, because again, 260 bucks for a 43 inch 4K TV is a steal, I recommend that you get an Amazon TV if you're highly invested in the Amazon ecosystem. What do I mean by that? Well, if you shop a lot on Amazon, if you use Alexa a lot and have a lot of smart home products connected to it, then this TV becomes the hub for everything. Alexa, turn off the living room lights. Okay. Turn on the living room light. Turn the torch to blue. Change the arc lamp to red. MediaTek's chip, for example, lets you use picture-in-picture -picture to view your security cameras while you watch a movie. Alexa, maximize camera. Minimize camera. Alexa, show me the front door. Occasionally, you'll also get notifications to pop up whenever one of your Amazon packages is delivered. And from the TV, you can do other things like turn on the humidifier or start your robot vacuum. At the heart of all of this is Alexa. And if Alexa is your virtual assistant of choice, then this TV is the one for you. Okay, MJ, we know that Alexa functionality is great, but what about picture quality? Over the holidays, I used this as my primary TV, catching up on plenty of TV series and movies. I also played some games on my Xbox. So what's the experience like? For the casual user, there's not much to complain about when it comes to the Amazon Fire TV. Picture quality is great, and I enjoyed using it. I'll be straight with you. For those of you looking for higher refresh rates for gaming, or those who are really concerned about picture quality, like perfect blacks, or the top of the line visual experience, then this isn't the TV for you. Look elsewhere, but also be prepared to spend north of $2,000. But that's not the point here. This is supposed to be an affordable smart TV. And for what you're paying for, it's a solid deal. So which Amazon Fire TV is your gadget match? If you ask me, I personally prefer the 65 inch Omni TV. That's the one that I have right here. When asked to recommend a size, I usually go for 65 inches. 
And where all the Omni TVs are concerned, this one has all the features, including Dolby Vision. It's a pretty good looking TV with a metallic silver frame instead of the black one found on smaller models. But if you're looking to spend even less, then go for the 43 or the 50 inch 4 series, especially if you have a smaller space. I can imagine the 43 inch will be perfect for dorm rooms or tiny studio apartments. And that was our Amazon TV review and buyer's guide. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, you know the drill folks. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.